Anyway, if you're hitting play again, here we go. What does the voice of God sound like? He sounds like you. Okay, that's pretty simple, right? So let me illustrate this for you. If you have any Robert De Niro fans, so if Robert De Niro was a Christian, this is uh, my impression of Robert De Niro wondering if the Lord is speaking to him. You ready? Here we go. Hey, you talking to me? Hey, are you talking to me? Hey, are you talking to me? That's what he's saying. It's Robert De Niro is in New, you know, New York. He's talking like this. This is how he talks. This is how he thinks. So the father is in heaven. He's hearing Robert De Niro, and he answers like this. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? You get it? Okay, hopefully you're laughing now. Uh, he sounds like you. If Robert De Niro sounds like that, or maybe something like that, then the Lord in his head sounds like that. Or if you're from Northern Ireland, there you go. I've been to work in Ireland for many decades now. I've got many wee friends in Ireland, so I can sort of put on the Irish accent when I want to. It's very simple, actually, to do the Irish accent. If you just pretend like you're singing, and you sort of end your phrases up like that, you can sort of do it. So if you're in Ireland and you're praying, Lord, will you speak to me today? The Lord will talk back to you like this. Of course I'm speaking to you. I love you. That's how the Lord sounds to an Irishman. My favorite example was this couple in the South, and uh, one day the husband comes in. Now, for those of you watching in the deep south, you're gonna, you're gonna just think I'm crazy for trying to do your accent, but I'll try it anyway. Uh, the husband walks into the wife one day. This is a true story, he says. He says um, you know, to her, uh, honey, I feel I've heard from the Lord, and you have one hour. I'm going out on my mower. I'm gonna mow that grass. You best hear from God when I'm out there because I've heard from the Lord something is happening to us. So off he goes. He's out mowing, so she goes to the Lord. And she's praying, and as she's seeking the Lord, the Lord says to her in this accent, Honey, the cloud is moving, and you best be moving with it. <laughs> so there you go. So to her, <laughs> that's exactly how she told me the story. Honey, the cloud is moving, and you best be moving with it. Now, he doesn't talk to me like that, and he doesn't talk to the Irishman like that, or to Robert De Niro like that, but to her, that's how he sounds, and that is what the voice of the Spirit sounds like. Now, let me just share with you also uh, uh, just a practical story from our life. Uh, when our son, Ethan, our oldest son, turned 16, he had this great opportunity to visit uh, Uganda on a youth missions trip. And he's praying about it. Should I go to Uganda? You know, And he's feeling the green light, the yes of the Holy Spirit to go. And we're kind of feeling that too. But you know, as a mother would, she's a little worried. This is her oldest son going on his first big missions trip alone without her. So she's praying. And one day he was at the doctor's office getting his shots for Africa. And as she's sitting in the lobby, the Holy Spirit says, very gently in her mind, he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. Isn't that beautiful? Just again, this is very supernaturally natural. As you learn to walk with the Holy Spirit, learn. you know. And, and that assurance, you see how that was powerful? Now, she could have gone to the Word. Whoops, my Bible is falling to pieces. It's a little old. She could have gone to the Word, and she could have got a word from Scripture that told her he was going to be okay. That's powerful. You do that too. But you see the difference in a word from the word or the word itself and then hearing the inner voice assuring you he's going to be okay. And he was okay.